So training camp begun, all right? And he said he can't wait to get back in the ring to further add to his legacy. To further add to his legacy. These words are kind of um, confusing in a way, if you look at it. Because it's, a, it's, a, it's only a couple of options to his legacy if you take your, your mind straight into that realm of legacy. What can he add to make his legacy bigger? Well, he could fight Bud Crawford. He could fight Errol Spence. Um, he could fight Ugas. Um, because Ugas do have the belt. Um... He could also fight Triple G, um, get that nine division. That could add to his legacy. Um, can he fight Lomachenko? Uh, well, I'm, I'm saying to myself, you know, if, if, if you're going to do negotiations with Bud Crawford, with Bob Arum, um, maybe you could do a fight with Lomachenko. I mean, at the point that Lomachenko had lost, uh, we don't know where Lomachenko's brain is at and... You know, when he was with Bob Arum, when Manny Pacquiao was with Bob Arum, um, Lomachenko Pupa, his papi, right? He didn't want that fight. He said, I don't want to build a legacy over uh, on Manny Pacquiao. What was what was a lot of hogwash shit, right? It didn't make any sense. Um, they didn't actually want to fight Manny Pacquiao. In other words, they really didn't want that smoke with Manny Pacquiao. Simple as that. Okay? That's what that means. No smoke with Manny Pacquiao. So that was then. This is now. Things change. So maybe that could be a fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he's not considered pound for pound anymore. So I don't know about that situation. Okay. Um, on the other hand, um, Ugas. Well, that's another thing that's kind of getting to me is this thing with Ugas, right? Um, Manny Pacquiao is back in training. Um, what's the difference between being stripped and being in recess? Can anybody ask me to answer that question? H2O, right? I told you, Monday through Thursday, I'm clean as a whistle. Friday and Saturday, I get busy at night. Sunday, all the way to Thursday, workout, water, nice diet. But let's get back to the point. <laughs> what, he's back in training, so what is this word named recess? Uh, does that mean he gets the belt back? Um, or what What does it mean? Okay, so to tell you the truth, I don't care if he gets the belt back or not. Um, if he decides to fight Ugas, well, and he defeats Ugas, he could get the belt back. Now, me, you know, I want to kind of be insulted in a way. But it's a great move. It's a great move on the chessboard to get that belt back. Right? So that's if Ugas decides to pick Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao also. Because what's going on with Spence um, and Thurman, it seems like Ugas might pick Thurman. But that's his decision if he wants to pick Thurman for his next fight. Where he could fight Spence and fight for the third belt and get, and get those two belts and have... I think that's... Because guess what? You could At the end of the day, Ugas... You could fight Keith Thurman before if you want to. Or you could fight him after and defend your, your, your unification. It doesn't matter. So whatever Keith Thurman is, is whispering in and, and macking to you in your ear, you know, it's up to you, man. And if you don't want to give Spence the chance, well, where does that leave Spence? Well, I think two directions. He could fight a Buddha, uh, you know, his mandatory. Yeah, for his IB, I think IBF. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or he could fight Sean Porter too, part two, right? So, so, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong about the belts that Abu do have or whatever, right? So I can see him going those two directions to keep busy because if Ugas don't want to fight him and he decides to fight Keith Thurman, well, there you go. Other, other situation that Spence could go to is a Manny Pacquiao fight. But I always say to Bud... And Spence, if you let Manny Pacquiao back into that realm, you can't say that this man is 
um, stopping y'all two for having a a fight. You can't if you bring Manny Pacquiao back in, you can't blame Manny Pacquiao for y'all two not getting negotiations together. Yeah. So the way I see it now is that legacy fights could be people that hold in belts. Basically, that's the way I see it. Now, um, the thing with Mikey Garcia, um, he's way up there in a little bit of weight. He needs to lose weight. Maybe he could get all that weight down by May. You know, hey, things happen. You know what I'm saying? People get big and they lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Look at Brony. He lost all that weight. You know what I'm saying? Determination, um, training hard. It can happen, right? Especially if you know you're going to get a cash cow like Manny Pacquiao, right? So that's why I say do legacy and uh revenue fight that's big can you get both of that in one fight right depending on what direction that Manny Pacquiao going towards his legacy now if if like we said if he picks Mikey everybody say he was get he wanted that fight since 2016 i mean listen they were they've been going Mikey wanted that fight a long time ago right so if Manny goes to that direction um towards Further his legacy, with those words could be twisted to be like, well, Manny Pacquiao did say he wants about three more years to fight. So he fought in 2019. 2020 um, was shut down because of this virus situation. Um, he comes back. He fights Mikey this year. And then the beginning of 22 or somewhere around the same time of now of next year, 2022. He could fight either. Errol Spence um, or Crawford. But he did say he wanted to fight two times this year. So he already has something programmed where he know that his central duties is not going to get in the way. So if he say he's going to fight, if he wants to fight, this is what he said he wants to do, fight two um, twice this year, well, that means he's going to fight somewhere in um, May, June or whatever. And then maybe at the end of the year, he's going to get another fight. All right. So um, if he was to fight Triple G, that's a legacy fight. And that's going towards his legacy. And I'll have no problem with that. And anybody should not have a problem with that because then he'll be nine of vision. Now, I know there's some channels out there, right? It's talking about, oh, he's not eight division. He's seven, seven division. My nigga, kill that noise. We know who you are, okay? I'm about to get into all your asses soon. Sooner than later, when the time comes. But right now, he's an, he's been an eight division. When he gets in that ring, they say, the eight division, five literal. Listen, listen. Ain't nobody going on your channel and uh, agreeing that he's seven division. No, he's eight division. Okay, the whole world sees it at eight division, and you only see it at seven division. Kick rocks with that shit, man. He's eight division, and if he fights Golovkin and he beats Golovkin, he's nine division. Okay, and, and, and listen, eight division five lineal. No one even caught up to that yet, huh? Huh? So it's you against the world, bro. No one cares about what you say about seven division. Kill that noise, all right? We all know who we talking about. If you heard that shit before, seven division. He's eight division. Okay? So, back to legacy. All I can see, I don't see no Lomachenko. Um, I can see him fighting Ugas. I can see him fighting Spence. I can see him fighting um, Bud Crawford. I can see him fighting Triple G. I, I, basically, that's what I can see here. I don't see Ryan Garcia, you know... I think he's getting bad slack on it, even in, in back home about you're going to fight a little kid. Come on, man. You, you know, he, same age as your son, you know. Um, listen, at the end of the day, those are legacy fights that I think could happen. Um, one minute he's in negotiations with Bud, um, Bud and Bob Arum again, right? And then I, I did say before that they were in negotiations before. Now, and I said, if it was just Bob Arum saying this, I won't believe it. I won't believe it. But after the Kell Brook fight, they both stand up there and they said, yeah, we, we, we both 
almost had this fight or we looking forward to have this fight and we in negotiations and it didn't pull through because investors didn't invest in the situation that they represented and it didn't work out. So now we're hearing it again. There's some negotiations with Bud Crawford, um, whatever be would be. Now, on the other hand, with Spence, um, this is the thing that's getting to me right here. This is the thing that's getting to me. And me and Red Cardinal, uh, Red Cardinal um, Ali Boxing Talk, that's my dude, man. I love that dude, man. For some reason, my spirit is good for him, man. I, I just, I can't be mad at the brother. I just, I just, I just like him, man. I just like him. So go check his his channel out. That's that's Ali Boxing Boxing Talk. Yo, he, listen, Red Cardinal, if you're listening, we need to go live, man. I know a couple of times we try to go live and we had a little technical difficulties, but it'll soon come. You know what I'm saying? It'll soon come. Everything come from everything will work out, man. We'll, we'll get this 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 live going. Me, I'm not doing live on my channel. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm a little scared. A little, a little nervous about that, right? So I get on anybody's channel and I'll and I'll, I'll chop it up with them. But for me to do that, I'm not ready for that yet, right? So so um we was talking about is how Spence how Manny Pacquiao was saying, I was talking to Red, I was like, yo, Spence, Manny Pacquiao says Spence is too slow. And then he comes back and said that he had sloppy footwork and he lost a step after the accident and, and this and that. And I'm like, um, and, 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 and the first time that Manny Pacquiao said, you look slow, Errol Spence responded, well, make the fight. Well, this is the thing I'm trying to figure out here. If, if, Manny Pacquiao go over there by Crawford to make a fight with a pound for pound. Y'all call him pound for pound. You know your channels. Y'all been calling him pound for pound. So that's my proof to say that Manny's not scared of Arrow, okay? Because he on the same street with the side. He's on the same side of the street with Ugas and Arrow Spence. Why would he go all the way over here um, to make the fight? Well, the way I see it, every whoever got his money, he's going to get He's going to get that fight. Um, the way I see it, too, is that on this side of the street, you had a fight with Thurman and Broner, and you had money. You got money. So I don't know what's holding up that fight with Errol Spence. I really don't understand what's holding up that fight with Errol Spence. So if you do fight Mikey, um, to me, um, hey, so be it, because you need a warm up anyway. It is what it is. You've been out two years. Uh, is this to go further to your legacy or to add to your legacy? Well, you know, Mikey Garcia was a champion, right? So the way I see it is that could further your legacy. If you defi decide to fight Ugas, well, it's because you want to get that belt back. Um, and that's another thing. Let, let's say, let's say Manny Pacquiao fight Ugas, right? He gets that belt. Fine. Or let's say he fought Crawford. Let's say, because, you know, this unification thing, um, if he beat, let's say he fought Bud. He beats Bud. And now he has the belt, right? Let's say Bud Crawford introduces, introduces him back into this realm of interfering with the fight with Bud Crawford and Errol Spence, right? Let's say Bud loses to Croft, um, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao got the belt, right? Now, in my eyes, and I hope in the fans' eyes out there, I hope people will be like, damn, he beat Bud. He beat Keith Thurman. Damn, if they didn't strip him from that belt, he would have been unified. Not undisputed, but he would have been unified. Ain't that some shit? But in the record books, like I understand the record books, man, the history, it would say that he got stripped, he fought Bud Crawford, he beat Bud Crawford, but he's not unified. But in the eyes of the fans, just like I have the eyes of the fans when, when Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao, but in the eyes of the fan, the majority of the fans said, nah, man, Pacquiao whipped that ass. But on paper, Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao. Well, it's the same thing. If, if, he beat Keith, got the belt, got stripped, then fought Bud. Um, then hey, 
in my eyes, he would have he really was unified. You see what I'm saying? In that realm. Now, when it comes to Matt, um, Errol Spence, well, that's an easy one. Regardless if he had a belt or he lost a belt, he still could unify with Spence because Spence got two belts. So, at the end of the day, um, it's a chess move on the board that Manny has that he could get from anybody. It, it, it's just that do the legacy equals the revenue that he wants to. That's the thing. Because out of all these people that he's talking about fighting, um, Crawford, for legacy Crawford, Errol Spence, I think Errol Spence will give him more revenue. Just talking about the money, because it is cash, and everybody have to come up with who Manny Pacquiao's money. Okay, so somebody's going to come up with his money, and somebody's going to make the make the fight. Somebody's going to invest in the fight. All this comes it comes to be to the, the end where Manny Pacquiao say, listen, I'm ready to tell you who I'm going to fight in the next week, or maybe end of February or the beginning of March. Whatever. But he's in training camp. So when that when that news come out, it will come out. Basically, right? So all I'm saying is that Manny at this moment, you know, if he's a fight arrow, he can unify like this. Just like that. If he fights Bud, well, he got a belt. That's like he had a belt with Keith Thurman. But that also will be in his legacy because he won the belt um, in 2019 and he won a belt in 2020. Can't say it's unified, but in my eyes, if he didn't get stripped, it would have been unified. But it's just another part of his legacy. Okay. Um, if he fights Ugas, well, you have to blame this era for bringing Manny Pacquiao in. If you, if, if, if Ugas brings Manny Pacquiao back in, if Bud Crawford brings back Manny Pacquiao, and if Spence do, these three men brought back Manny Pacquiao into, into their era. This is these three men era now. What are they going to do? Okay? And and that's that's it. That's, that's all I can say. Um, but the biggest fight that will make the most revenue is a Triple G fight. Okay? Triple G got his country. Manny Pacquiao got his country. And Manny Pacquiao did not just have the country. He got most of the world, too, because everybody know who he is. Everybody know the cash cows. Everybody know Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather. Whatever way you want to put it on how what kind of fan you are. You want to put in front, right? So that's the way I see it. Those are the two cash cows, right? And I feel that Triple G will be a bigger... Like a real big match, man. I don't know. I mean, this, this Verona v v v v v Verona virus situation um, could put a dent in big numbers. See what I'm saying? Depending if it's outside the country or it's here or um, wherever it is, they're they going to make this fight, right? But I still believe that this virus situation could put a dent into having it in big numbers. But... It will make big numbers regardless. It will make more money than Crawford. It will make more money than Ugas. It will make more money than Mikey. And it will definitely make more money than Errol Spence. But I have Errol Spence is making more than all those other dudes. Unless it's Triple G. That's all I'm saying. Because the way you promote that fight is... Hey. Nine division. Manny Pacquiao is going for nine division. That's it. That's all you have to do. Promote it that way. Making history. Made history already, but doubling up the history. So that's the way I see it. Plain and simple. Okay? That's, that's the way I see it. So, at the end of the day, who do I have do I think that he could make this fight with? Oh, man. I swear, man. Well, Manny Pacquiao is in training camp. So when you have a training camp, three months. Um, see, when I'm saying I'm counting three months and this and that is because... This thing with Bob Arum and, 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 and Bud. This thing with Bob Arum and Bud. So I'm not sure it's going to be Bud Crawford. You see, I'm not sure. Because this thing with Bob Arum. Bob Arum is just, it's just, he's just cock blocking every fight. 
from Team of Fimo to yeah, he just he's just blocking everything, man. Um, telling people they ain't worth it. I just I just can't I can't see I can see it, but I can't see it, right? Unless Bob him do what he had to do to get this fight for for Bud. That's it. But um, and then I was saying to myself, maybe this fight would have happened in October or November because that's when Bud Crawford got to resign. Right? And if he don't resign, then he's a free agent. He can go with the PBC. He can stay a free agent and do whatever he want. He could probably get the fight even, you know. So, who do I have? Oh, man. If it's not Triple G, um, but you got to realize that there's fighters that's keeping very quiet. It's not just Manny Pacquiao. You got to listen to the ones that's not saying nothing. You got to listen hard and see who's on the hush-hush. Mikey's on a hush hush. We don't know what Mikey's gonna do. We don't know who's gonna fight next. Um, Errol Spence. Um, we do hear that he wants to fight Ugas because Ugas got something that he wants. That's what Errol Spence said. Um, Manny Pacquiao don't have anything that he wants now, unless it's just a money grab fight, right? Um, Crawford's still on the money grab with Manny Pacquiao. He still wants that fight, regardless if he has a belt or not. Okay, so we know where he's going. Through. We know where he's coming from, and if he does that, no one can blame Manny. He ain't got a belt. So at the end of the day, man, who would I pick? All right, I, this is what I say. I'm gonna pick Mikey. Um, and like I said, I won't get nothing out of Mikey out of this situation, even though I like. Uh, I, I didn't remember. I had a, a tantrum one day with one of my videos, like. F Mikey, I don't need to see that fight. I just want to see Terry Cra Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence. Um, but at this point now, because times change, um, he haven't been fighting for two years. So if it's Mikey and then he has another fight, did he say he wants two fights? Well, then so be it. Um, only thing I'll get out of that Mikey fight is, like I said in my other previous videos, is how Manny Pacquiao put a lick on Mikey and the same way Errol Spence put a lick on Mikey. I could just compare um, who bust down Mikey and that's that. And, and, and it could lead on to the next fight with, my, with um, Errol Spence. It's an argument that we can have. You know, I could argue that, well, you know, you know, Manny Pacquiao beat Mikey and fucked his, F his face up and all this blah, blah, blah and knocked him down a couple of times or he knocked him out. Oh, and, and and the same thing with Arrow. Arrow didn't do that, and this and that. It could, could go back and forth, you know what I'm saying? And we could compare how the fight went down with the IQ and and who didn't, you know, all this foolishness, right? So that's the only thing I get on Mikey. If he fights Ugas, I'm okay with that. If he fights Arrow, I'm okay with that. Uh, if he fights um, Bud Crawford, I'm okay with that. Um, I don't know, man. This is this is strange times, man. This is strange times. And I'm just trying to figure out, would this be the fight of the year? Because if you look at it, Tank hurt his hand. And you know the funny thing? I was watching um, Tank fight Timo Fimo when they was younger and shit. And I was watching the fight. And, you know, like, Timo Fimo got some fast hands when he was young. You know, he, he got some fast hands and shit. But I noticed that Tank... He hurt that same left, left hand. He hurt that hand, right? He hurt that hand when he was fighting Timo Fimo Lopez in that fight. And then I'm saying he hurt his hand again in training. Now, I don't know what's going on in training, man. You know, people go hurt their shoulders. You know, things happen in training and shit, right? That um, sparring, things happen in sparring. But you don't go 100% in sparring, okay? If you're going 100% sparring, it's either somebody's getting the best of you, okay? And you're not liking that shit. You're not liking that shit at all. So this thing about him hurting his hand, I don't know if it's in sparring or not, but this shit sounds suspect, man. Okay, because he hurt his left hand again. Some people say it's broken. He's going to be out for the rest of it. Some people say they took x-rays. He going to be back in, in this year. But I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on Tank and that, that left hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on that left hand. Some, something ain't adding up, man. Because that's not the first time. If you watch that, that team of Fimo and that, that tank fight uh, when they was young, yeah, he, he shook his hand. He, he shook that hand. He said, oh, shit. I feel that shit. Shit, I feel it. 
So I'm like, come on, man. And, and, and if somebody got the best of you in sparring, you had to go 100%, you hurt your hand, um, that's foolish shit. Now you're setting yourself up to be out for the rest of the year, of all the way to the end of the year. Now you got to not just get your, your, your fist right, you got to get your weight right. You got you to stay on your kid. You still got to be out there working out. You see how Bud is? Bud broke his hand. And he went to camp. And that's what made him be a switcher. Switch stances. And, and he, he improved his stance, doing this, doing that, and whatever. So um, besides that, you know, and Wilder's out. Lomo got lost. Um, we don't know what's going on with Timo Fimo, Haney, um, Ryan Garcia, uh, um, you know, and Tank. We don't know what's going on. Who could save this year in boxing? And that, that's Manny Pacquiao and who, whoever his opponent is. And that's the way I see it. Yeah, that's the way I see it. So the face of boxing right now, to me, is Manny Pacquiao. Regardless if you like it or not, that's what it is, man. Um, Mayweather, and Manny Pacquiao recently asked Mayweather, Mayweather, can we do the rematch? He just want to put a stamp on this shit, right? And Mayweather, what did he say? Nothing. I guess he didn't ignore his ass or, or still trying to fight 50 or fucking Broner. I mean, if you're going to fight anybody, just fight Broner, man. Good water. Just fight Broner, bro. Don't make your ass. Don't, don't, don't do this bullshit, man, because... That opponent that Manny Pacquiao is about to pick, well, you're gonna have to change the plan soon, man. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to rewind time. You're gonna have to rewind your 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 change of plans and try to figure something out who's gonna be your next opponent. And to me, I think you know, Brona would be a good opponent for you. Okay, not Fifty Cent, not uh this guy, whatever. Some, some it ain't gonna work. Okay, because Manny Pacquiao gonna do numbers. Manny Pacquiao gonna do numbers with Ryan. I mean, fucking get the fuck out of here with that Ryan shit. He's gonna do numbers. Even with Ryan, he will do numbers. Okay, regardless. He got a whole country behind him. Okay? I, I'm tired of the circus acts, man. I don't want no more circus acts. I want boxers. Manny Pacquiao, I just want boxers you fighting, okay? Right. So, um, anything else? Anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um, huh, what else is there? <clears throat> That's about it, man. So, what did I get out of this? I don't know. I, I I just really don't know who to pick. Um, in my own selfish ways, I want either Spence or Crawford. One of those two. Uh, if he picks Mikey, it is what it is. If he picks Ugas, um, great chest move. Um, still a warm up. Still a warm up. Um, and it is what it is, and he could regain, he could get that title back if he want to. Um, what, what, what? So be it. What so be it? Because Manny Pacquiao holds all the cards in every direction. Basically, I'm just being honest. I mean, if you just listen to what I'm saying, he holds the cards in every direction. It's just which way he's gonna go with it. That's it. All right, listen. Go check Red Cardinal. Um, Ali Boxing Land. Ali Boxing Talk. Um, I hope me and you can go live again, man. Maybe I came home late from work today, man, but either we could do it, chop it up and try to do this tomorrow or Friday, man. Um, hopefully there'll be an announce announcement with Manny Pacquiao and that'll be the next level of chapter of talking shit about what's going to happen and who his opponent is. And I just hope I could chop it over what you read. Go check out his, his channel and shit like that. And it is with, and when you check out his channel, all my subs that I have, put it on his sub. He got like five, five, what, five thousand something sub. Give him six, man. Put it on there, man. He was he was on here before I even can't touch down on him. I used to watch Red when I, I I didn't have a channel. I used to just watch Red. Um, I watch a lot. I watch a lot of channels that you may not like, but um, they have to be in existence um, to have a a a a, a, a back and forth with. That's the way I see it, man. So I have channels that you might like that I listen to and channels that you don't like that I listen to. But everybody got to coexist. And um, at the end of the day, um, I'm going to get at those channels too when that time come. But till then, I ain't speaking about them. I'm building my legacy here. 
just talking about boxing. But when that time come, I will get in your ass. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, all right? Peace, man.